and Dave. And together, with our dogs Belle and Hudson, we're exploring the world in our escape travel trailer. In the winter of 2023, we traveled from Ontario to Texas to pick up a 17-foot Casita trailer and spent over a month on the road. We liked it so much that by the fall of 2023, we upgraded to a 19-foot escape trailer so that I had space to work from the road. We haven't looked back since. Come see where we go next. Today, we leave Sturgeon Bay Provincial Park, where we had a really great weekend with a group of friends. Check out episode 68 if you missed it. On this particular road trip, we're working our way down to southeastern Ontario, where we're going to make a number of stops at provincial parks and harvest hosts over a period of about 11 days. Today, we're going to drive as far as Balsam Lake Provincial Park, which is located near the city of Kawartha Lakes. We're looking forward to this road trip for a few reasons. Number one, our route is taking us to parts of Ontario that we've rarely been to, on roads that we've never traveled before. Number two, we get to enjoy the beautiful fall colors. And number three, this is likely our last road trip in Ontario for a while. Winter is coming in Canada, so before long, we'll be heading to the US to continue a much longer and very exciting road trip that we have planned. Stay tuned for more details on that. But for now, let's focus on the task at hand. We've just arrived at Balsam Lake Provincial Park, so let's get checked in and get settled into our site. Dave's parents are joining us on this road trip, and they shouldn't be too far behind. Oh look, there they are now. Lucky for us, we got sites that are side by side. So Dave picked the best of the two fire pits and is getting things set up for an afternoon campfire. What's going on in here? I'm cooking. Oh, you're cooking? Oh boy, I don't know if we're gonna eat in here, Mom. It's so nice outside. Let's eat outside by the oh, fire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't get carried away with that. It's kind of fun though. Oh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so time to talk a bit about this campground. With over 500 sites, this is one of the largest provincial parks that we've been to so far and almost half of the sites have electricity, which is pretty rare for a provincial park of this size. Unlike most provincial parks we visited, the campsites at this park are less private, with many of them being located in more of an open field setting. However, there is a selection of campsites that are located right on the waterfront. These are beautiful. They have great lake views and are quite private. I can certainly understand why, even at this time of year, that we weren't able to secure one of these. By the way, we're traveling in October, at a time of year when most campgrounds in Ontario aren't very busy. Kids have gone back to school, and temperatures are dropping quickly, meaning a lot less people have an appetite for trailer life. No matter the time of year, we always enjoy visiting a new park and exploring everything it has to offer. Look at this, these campers have really gotten into the Halloween spirit. I wonder what their lot would look like if they were here at Christmas. As usual, after dinner, I had a craving for ice cream. So we checked Google and saw that just outside of the park fence, 
there was a store called The Park Store. So of course I convinced Dave we should go for a walk. Our visit to the store did not go as planned. I'm not going to say much here, except read the reviews on Google before you decide to go. If nothing else, our visit to the store was one that we won't soon forget. Overall, this park had a very relaxing vibe with lots of awesome lake views. We would certainly recommend visiting this one. Tomorrow, we get back on the road and make our way to Sandbanks Provincial Park, considered one of the very best parks in Ontario. Come back next Tuesday to see what we get up to there. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. Or, even better, subscribe to our channel. It really does help us reach a wider audience. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.